Hello and welcome back to another Jurassic Park video where today we are going to be doing or we're going to try to be making this thing a lot better so basically we've come back straight after a storm which decided to try and obliterate our uh, park uh, we're just we're now uh, just messing around seeing what we can make I'm trying to get some more adventure people so maybe if I do this they could look at the dinosaurs but I don't think I did this in the end because it just cost too much and it wouldn't actually allow you to see all the dinosaurs so actually I did do it okay I did put it down uh, so hopefully it gives us the money we need as you can see we're still on the quest where we need to get or make four hundred thousand dollars income per minute and we've done the maintain guest comfort 75 percent and get six different species of dinosaur so now we've just got to keep getting things to make people want to stay here to get more money so now we're getting uh yeah uh, viewing gallery Part of the excitement of being near the dinosaurs is the dangerous nature of some of them the allure is instinctual fear but what we're really looking for is something bigger and better. Do you want a T-Rex? Can I have a T-Rex? Wait, what? Really? We can have a T-Rex? Once you expand the park and create a suitable enclosure. Expanding the size of the park is a brilliant idea, and the T-Rex is the most iconic of the dinosaurs. And now, when people come to Jurassic Park, they can see one for themselves. And fear they might get eaten by one. The illusion of risk, not actual risk, is what we strive to achieve. And we'll have a T-Rex. Well, there we go. I've made four, I, I make $400,000 per minute. And now we've got to get a T-Rex. Now, if you watch the movies, you know that that terrorized the whole park. So I'm now going to try to find a dig site with a T-Rex, but I don't think I can find the dig site with a T-Rex, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, we're just going through, seeing what we could get. Uh, they're either all herbivores, or some random dinosaur, which is not a T-Rex. So now, I've I found an upgrade, which tends to allow you to get different things. Uh, I'll try to find the way to find a T-Rex, I pressed the wrong button, I have to do that over again. But yeah, not much happens for the next couple minutes, so I'll just skip ahead. Well, here you go, here's the upgrade. So, I need to get Carniv Carnivores 5, but I need to get a 3 star rating. So, my goal for this episode is to get a 3 star rating. But first of all, to do that, I first... I keep saying first of all, I've got to first of all get a 2.5 star rating to get the Carniv Carnivore 4, to then be able to get Carnivore 5. So yeah, I'm just going to try get more dinosaurs that I can get right now to then make my park rating higher. Maybe try to fix that park, that ride attraction I was trying to fix in the last episode, but just couldn't be bothered. But instead, I decided to build a uh, zip line. I love these zip lines. Like, remember in the video you saw me doing that zip line. It was it was okay. But I wanted it to go over the. I wanted it to go over the. Uh, Velociraptor enclosure, but I just couldn't do that. So I've got to build a I've got to build a Velociraptor enclosure separately. No. Hey, I'm going to build a zip line on the Velociraptor enclosure separately, like I'm doing with the with the Dilophosaur enclosure. But I put the electrical generator in the wrong place, so I've got to get rid of it and then put it on the other side of it. And I'm now just going to connect the paths to the path that will connect to the arrival point, so that people can actually access this. So I've connected that one, now I've got to go to the other side and then connect that one to where it needs to be. Now right now it's going from the uh, like the main area of the park to the lesser area. So I want to go to the lesser area, to the bigger area, because that might mean that we get more things. But I don't think I did that, I'm just going to go... So we go over it, you can see a few Dilophosaurs, you go over the uh, you go over the forest, which you could potentially get hit off by a tree, but it's still quite fun. So we've done that, now it's time to build, a, I've already built a viewing gallery for the small little dinosaurs. 
Uh, I then build a... What do I build? I build another ride. Now, I think this is the answer to the problem which we had where I couldn't actually build it through the Velociraptor enclosure. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, it was a dinosaur threat. What's, what's happening? One of, the, one of the little rats have escaped. They've escaped, and now there's another vehicle being chased by Nicholas Latifi. That's just going to be... Oh, my Lord, what the actual... One of the cars just got obliterated by by Jimmy's titanium tail. Oh my! That's so funny. One of the poor guys in that tour car got obliterated by a little dinosaur who has a tail made out of like the world's strongest metal. But I've now got. Oh yeah, look, the ride has been cancelled or like like stopped because of that explosion now here's our park rating we are 2.3 i think so we've now got to go uh tame that or we've got to go tranquilize the dinosaur that's escaped then we've got to go find a way to open up the park ride again because i th i don't know why it's not working then we come down to one of these guys this guy here is just jumping up and down uh, I need to think of names to give these guys, so I might add that later on in the video. I don't remember. So, we've, I remember they, es they escaped because they didn't have what they wanted, so we've got them their water. And I think that's all they really wanted. So now we've just got to wait for that other one to get tranquilised, and then we can move him into the safer enclosure. I think he's already been tranquilised, but I just don't remember. Uh, yeah, we had to add the gate, obviously, so people can actually get in. There's another vehicle under threat. It's just one of the... Uh, it's one of the uh, rangers that have just been destroyed by a Velociraptor. Here I'm just trying to change things. I don't know why I was messing around. But I put it back the way it originally went in the first episode. And now I'm just trying to figure out how to open it up. I figured out how to fix the ride. I just had to send the ranger team to the thing to open it back up. But I remember looking at the uh, calm something or others. The small little rats over here. Uh, and they said that they didn't like, or they escaped, because they didn't actually have enough friends. So, I've got to make a few more of them, because their population is only three out of the seven or eight they actually like. So, we're adding a ranger team to these uh, little rats, and then they should hopefully not try to escape and murder everyone. It was kind of surprising to have not, to not have a velociraptor escape, but we've had... The smallest rats in a thing, the Dilophosaurs and those things, escape. The Dilophosaurus are like, oh yeah, we're chill. I mean, they have like tried, they have obliterated one of our tour cars though, so I don't think they're, I don't think they're better than the other ones. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Jimmy has just flopped on the floor because he's been tranquilized, probably for just crashing those poor innocent little cars. Uh, now we're just waiting for a bit. We've got a genome for the... Uh, what are those? Oh, for goodness sake. I can't actually get them. Compsagonathus. Those things. We've got those things. Uh, we're going we're gonna to incubate five of those. That means when they go into their little in, in habitate, inhabitation thing... Uh, let me, enclosure, that's the word. When they go in their enclosure, all their friends will have... Ha they'll be happy and there'll be eight of them. Simple maths. This math is quite hard, but either way. Uh, there we go. Uh, later on, we'll have eight things, and then the part will be thriving. So, I remember earlier telling you about making another park ride. Now, Peter Poublet is disgruntled which means that he needs to be rested i think i rest him later but now we are building the park ride through the the dilophosaur uh thing the dilophosaur enclosure so he gets through there but now we have a problem trying to get into the rat the things enclosure so now like in the last episode you watched me struggle trying to make things work i'm once again doing that 
So I try to go around the outside, it works, I think. Oh, does it? No, does it? Does it? There we go, it goes in. Then we try to go round. Oh, track, yeah, obviously it's not complete. So then, uh, I need to get rid of this of the water, which is probably the solution I could have used to fix the Velociraptor enclosure, but I just didn't think of that. But I had the water here so they haven't run out of any water, despite not adding the exact amount of water it had when I left. But yeah, now we're going back to editing the tour ride. Uh, we, I go back, I wait a bit, because I need, I need to use my brain to think of where I'm going. So we go around the outside of the power generator. Then you have to go in between these two things. But it didn't work. So yeah, it didn't fully work. So I had to go back in time and fix it. Now, uh, I'll skip to when I finally figured out how to fix it. I've now figured out how to fix it. I had to get rid of the meat, or I had to get rid of the meat dispensers, so I could then put it, so I could then thread the, uh, so I could thread the track through. But before I did that, I wanted to add the meat carnivore feeders because I didn't want all the uh, dinosaurs to die instantly. So I go back to editing, but no, I have to go resupply the emergency generator, or else. All the officers would escape again. But there we go. We've got the uh, what these things, friends, the Comlupus. Yeah, we get those things back in the uh, uh, enclosure. And then I have a big brain moment where instead of building or continuing the track on one side, I then build it to. I build the exit to it, and then I change the direction because I'd rather it go through the Dilophosaur thing first but then we test it out actually no I don't think I change anything I just leave it but then we just go test it out like we did so as usual I still have a tour speed run thing with upbeat music I am back after showing you the amazing tour through the Dilophosaurs and the other things enclosures. I think that will bring us lots of money, but also just so that no one dies here, I've got to add the uh, I've got to add the shelters later just so no one dies. But then also I'm going to add another viewing centre so that we can get more money once people are around here. But I've also got to add a path, and my biggest problem is trying to oh okay. It's not a problem anymore. But yeah, we've... We, yeah. So there's massive space here which we could use to add, like, uh, uh, emergency shelters, small amenities. Amenities, amenities. Something or other. But yeah, we're, they wanted to have, like, a drinking thing. So, I don't know. I think if either they want food, they want drinking, or they want shopping. So, I might just see what happens. Here's the emergency shelter. Here's the emergency shelter. Then obviously we need to have a bathroom because which ev who which evil person wouldn't have a bathroom at a park? So yeah. Then we add a little hotel so that people can stay here and get uh, so they can stay around the Dilophosaur and the rat things house. But yeah. This park is going so well so far. Uh, on our zipline, they've only seen nine dinosaurs. Meh. So now, I remember telling you, or do you remember me telling you about the, we need to have two and a half stars rated for our park. So I've done that, but uh, I don't have enough genetic points, so I've got to go sign a new doctor or scientist to then have enough genetic points. So that means like, so we can then get uh, carnivores four points. So I'll skip to I'll skip to when we actually upgrade to that stage. 
we are back with NASA and the scientist that will let us be able to get this upgrade so we can now get carnivores 4 so that basically when we go on expeditions we can find uh, more powerful not powerful but like more rare different types of carnivorous dinosaurs so basically we need to get carn we need to get to carnivores 5 to be able to get the T-Rex which is what we need to finish off this quest mission whatever it is so uh don't know what I'm doing right now just looking around maybe thinking of if I could get rid of something so I'd be able to make it a shorter walk around the park but I just said no so now I'm just waiting for the upgrades to finish so I can maybe have a look and see if any things if you see if there's any T-Rex we can get so I'll skip to another and I'll skip to an important part in this video so we have need to get a three star rating for our wonderful park but uh, we need to get more dinosaurs to do that so I've sent an expedition team to go get a some big dinosaurs but another vehicle's under threat I've kind of just given up trying to help these things but it's a park, it's a tour car, so I need to go save that car. Uh, I couldn't actually get to it, so I kind of just watched. Uh, it's lost its, it's lost its bonnet, but it's not the end of the world. It can still survive. Uh, then decide to see if I can do the park again, and then I think I crash into the wall here. Yeah, I crash into the wall, and then give up quite soon after. But I, I think I just, I try to go past them because I want to go quick. I go really quick round the outside, come back in, like my amazing racing skills allow me to do, and then I just leave the car and let leave it stranded in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we have to resupply our resource or response facility, but now it's time to build the uh, enclosure for the new dinosaurs that we've got. So I'll come back when we've got or when we've got the dinosaur genomes and when we're incubating it. And once that's done, this will also be done, the enclosure for the dinosaurs. So we've now got some big dinosaurs and we've got the Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus, I pronounced that one right. But we've incubated two of these because both of these eggs you can only get, or both of these incubations, you only got one egg. So I don't want one of them to be lonely, so I've just set them both on to start incubating the dinosaur egg. But... We also got this other dinosaur, which is a small thing like the uh, like the dinosaur that kind of escaped in the first uh, part of the video. But it, instead, the dinosaur is actually a herbivore, not a carnivore, so it won't try and kill everyone. But yeah, I'll skip to when we've got these big Apatosauruses in the enclosure. We've now got one of our Apatosaurus into their enclosure and we're now incubating some very small dinosaur called the Dryosaurus which will be going in the enclosure with the Apatosaurus but right now we've also built a uh, we built another medical center for the dinosaurs because I was running out of ambulances to use in the farm uh, so the Dryosaurus synthesis batch is ready and basically all of them are good, they're just really really vulnerable and weak so I think we're going to have all of them, so we've equipped five of them, no, four of them, no, yeah, five of them, and now we've got another batch of Dryosauruses, which will be done now, which are all just weak. There's only one normal one in this batch, which is, it's okay. We've got, uh, we've, I don't know if we equipped that one or not, but we did. But there is our Patosaurus on its way to its new enclosure, and I shall skip to when we have both the Patosauruses in the close in the enclosure and that they're all comfortable in their enclosure as well. Well there we go, our Patosauruses are in their enclosure and ready to live their life at or live their life to the fullest. And now we've got a, a batch of a Patos or dry sources ready to go into their new uh, enclosure. And then the other dry sources will be ready in twenty seconds. So yeah, our, f uh, our park is booming, we're so close to 3 stars, which will then allow us to get the T-Rex, so that we can then finally, 
or I don't know, but we can finally complete this part of the. Or we, can, we can complete the quests, and then we can go on to another thing. Or basically, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but this is part of a story called Chaos Theory, where in the movie this went to chaos. So we're basically making it so it doesn't go to chaos. So once we've done this one, we can go. We can go to another chaos theory if this does well. Right now, the other video is blown up. Not blown up, but it's doing well. It's got 88 views, which is a lot better than the 20 views I had in the last video. So yeah, I'll I'll skip to. I keep saying I'll skip. I'll skip to a point in the story where basically the dryosauruses are all in their cage and they're all happy with their surroundings. Uh, well, hello, uh, we've got our Dryosauruses and Apatosauruses already. I just decided to see what the zipline was like again, and we went over a few Dilophosauruses, and the park tour is actually doing quite well. So we end up uh, over here, on the opposite side of the park. So we go back over there. This is our park. Uh, we've only got one Dryosaurus left to come into the area. But then, yeah, we've got a full house of Dryosauruses which is actually quite really cool. So now I'm just gonna skip to when I went into the enclosure. Which no, I don't know, I didn't, did I go in the enclosure? I think I did. But yeah, I went in to the enclosure to see what it was like and then, but yeah, it's such a cool, this is such a cool game. Uh, we really need to get that third star so we can get the T-Rex. So yeah, oh, here we go, we're here. So now we're straight into it. We try not to crash into the. Oh, uh, okay. We crash into the wall. Uh, we let the other ranger car go past. We then pop in uh, and crash into a dryosaurus. Or more like he hit us, but ignore that. We carry on going and uh, we we hit another dinosaur. All these dinosaurs have like bodies made up of titanium. They've been hit by a jeep and somehow haven't died and then we go over to our beautiful looking apatosauruses nearly drown the car but yeah it's amazing we got we got two new dinosaurs in this episode the apatosaurus and the dryosaurus and yeah we're so close to that third star but thanks for i mean that is the end of the video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in the fourth episode of jurassic park evolution